All right. How's it going? I'm Sarah and he's James and we're the whole world's on nothing. We're in Santa Cruz and we're under attack by mosquitoes. Okay, eating alive. <laughs> We've just arrived in Santa Cruz and this is our room, so far so normal. There's Sarah, we've destroyed it as per in about five seconds. Don't watch that. But anyway, get into the bathroom. What the hell is this? Check it. That is the shower. This is what can only be described as a toilet screen. Have you ever seen that before? I don't mean to go on about this, but that is backwards, right? <laughs> that is the shower, that is the screen, and that is the toilet. It's like a prison toilet. After Jay got over the shock of the bathroom setup, we went out to explore. We got everything we need right here. So we've had to just come for a beer because I'm feeling a little bit overwhelmed. Like it's really, really hot in Santa Cruz for, for one thing. And then second of all, it's completely different to anywhere else that we've been in Bolivia. Like there's Burger Kings, um, Starbucks, like it's really, really got a lot of capitalism going on. Yeah, it's very different here. <laughs> it's also bloody massive, so you need to take cabs or buses to get to places. So there's a huge Japanese community here in Santa Cruz and apparently some really good Japanese food that goes with it. So we've just come to a restaurant called Restaurant Ken. We took a taxi ride out to it and we're going to see how it is. We are at the Santa Cruz Beer Company. What do you think? It's amazing. Massive, isn't it? It's huge, yeah, yeah. But it's not what I expected at all. I thought we were coming to a pub and then it's like a magical garden. It's incredible. Now when I said it was overwhelmingly hot in Santa Cruz, this wasn't exactly what I had in mind as a solution. When the rain finally stopped, a day later, we took a bus out to explore the botanical gardens where we were hoping to see some sloths. And it didn't quite go to plan. Yeah, this is a no-go. So I don't know if it's normally this bad or if it's just because it rained so much yesterday. But in the botanical gardens in Santa Cruz, there are thousands and thousands upon thousands of mosquitoes. They're just following us, swarming all around us. We've got loads of repellent on, but we're still getting bitten. Like, I think I've got bitten on my eyelid. Um, yeah, it's horrible. Like, it's so bad, we can't even go further into the jungle where we want to go. You're supposed to be able to see sloths and monkeys and stuff, but we just can't go any further. There's just too many mosquitoes. So in the end, all we saw was a giant ant. Be careful, it might get you. Huge. A squirrel. Oh. A tortoise. And some turtles. So guys, look at my eyeball. <laughs> so after getting chased out of the botanical gardens by the mosquitoes and getting bitten on the eyeball by one, um, we've come down to Kotaka which is on the same bus line and um, to a Sunday market and oh my gosh is it good. It's amazing. The food is beautiful. Yeah, we've already eaten lunch and so we've kind of had another lunch. We've had about four lunches <laughs> by now <laughs> and I don't regret it. I'm a
about we finally found the entrance to the trail which we are on now it's <laughs> oh we couldn't find it could we <laughs> um, it's uh, seven kilometers out to the sand dunes and the lagoon and apparently we've got to cross a river which we have to take our shoes off for so hopefully it's not going to be too deep <laughs> The sand dunes cover over 3,000 hectares and are surrounded by dense jungle. What's even more incredible is that these two ecosystems collide just 25 kilometres from the huge metropolis of Santa Cruz City. It's also possible to sandboard here too, but if you don't have your own board, you'll need to come with a tour company who will also bring you out in a jeep. There's absolutely nothing out here, so you will need to bring your own drinks and snacks. These fruits are called achai charu, and they're only found in this part of Bolivia, and they're a really good shell. Dinosaur. Thankfully we made it back in time to enjoy a couple of beers. There are so many good bars in Santa Cruz de la Sierra. <laughs> so we were talking to these uh, people at breakfast in the morning and they said they would recommend going to this little village called Porongo. Uh, to Porongo they said. <laughs> it's beautiful they said. Lovely place. So we couldn't, Jump on a bus. <laughs> couldn't figure out how to get there. The people at our hotel are usually next to useless, so we didn't really trust them when they said get a bus to, let's call it place A, and then another bus from there. So we went and asked at the tourist information office, and they said get a um, bus to place B, and then get another bus from there. So we thought we'd trust the tourist information office more, so we went with that got to where they said to get the second bus from and it was just a bloody taxi rank. So we got on another bus back to place A and wandered around for an hour. We must have asked about 20 people where to get this bloody bus to Porongo, the second bus. Can't find it, so we've ended up getting an Uber anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Safe for 40 pence though. So 40 pence. All worth it. Yeah, we just invested far too much time. We nearly went home but we're going to Prongo. We don't even know what's there. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We finally arrived in Prongo after way longer than it should have taken, and the Uber price being three times more than quoted. We definitely didn't save 40p in the end. But on the plus side, we did get there in time for lunch. This is called Mahadito, and it costs less than a couple of quid, and it's freaking delicious. Now what's happening? Um, it's raining. Quite a lot. <laughs> Tropical rain. Yeah. And we're in a village in the middle of nowhere. Just sat in a, in a church. 
It was quite an interesting church though. Dating back to 1716, it's said to be one of the last Jesuit mission constructions in Bolivia and is famous for its intricately carved wooden detailing. The rest of the single story wooden frame buildings that line the plaza are also beautiful and constructed in a completely different style to what you're likely to encounter in the rest of Bolivia. There really isn't much to do here, so we're just taking a beer. Found one that we haven't had before. Um, yeah, it's actually... Is it, is it illegal or is it frowned upon? Um, no, it's illegal to drink in public spaces. Okay, but... You know, I don't think there's any popo here, is there? We did manage to take a true feedback from Paronga, which is what we meant to take there in the first place, one of the like little minibuses, the shared taxis. Um, and it dropped us off very, very, very close to the place where we got the private taxi from. Um, it cost 70 pence, which was a lot different to the seven quid that we paid for the taxi. <laughs> However, the good thing is for you, that because we did all the legwork, um, we will put all the details in the blog post in the description below so that if you want to go to Porongo when you come to Santa Cruz, you can so very easily or easier than we did. I was worried you'd blow up my reputation But the figure is not on me, yeah, yeah, yeah The way you're making me shiver, your yeah. hands on myself I keep pulling the trigger, alright This very thing for people like Right now we are apparently supposed to be in the dead centre of South America according to Bolivia anyway because there's a few other places in Brazil and in Paraguay I think as well that lay claim to the same thing. Guys, despite our initial impressions of Santa Cruz and at first feeling pretty overwhelmed by the big city vibes, we ended up loving it and even extended our stay by a few more days. There's so much to do once you start scratching the surface and despite what people outside of Santa Cruz will tell you, a hell of a lot of culture. So if you fancy seeing a different side to Bolivia, get Santa Cruz de la Sierra on your itinerary. Guys, we've got loads more information about Santa Cruz over on the blog. We'll put all the links in the description below. If you enjoyed the video, why not like it? If you really enjoyed it, leave us a comment down below and don't forget to hit the bell so you get notified every time we post a new video. And we will see you later. See ya. Bye. I'm like a girl